Hey you, do you like Minecraft? Uh, no, not this one. I'm talking about the best-selling game of all time. The game that ruined my grades in middle school and made my family give up hope on me. Do you like it? Well, even though it destroyed my academic life, I still love Minecraft. So I was sitting in my room and wanted to try and see if I can remake Minecraft in record time using ChatGPT. By the way, I assume you know what ChatGPT is, but if you don't, it's basically a really smart AI chatbot that came out recently. It can do a lot of things, including coding. And in this video, I will challenge it to code Minecraft. And there is one rule. After I start making the game, I can't sleep or take any breaks. <laughs> that means I have to make the whole game in one sit. Minecraft may seem simple. After all, it's just some blocks and trees. How complicated can it be? Well, it actually has a complicated software behind it. And considering that I'm not a programming genius and I barely finished high school, this challenge is gonna be a tough one, even with the help of ChatGPT. And that's why I must have a plan if I want to remake Minecraft on record time. So as the first thing, I made a list of things that need to be in our Minecraft clone. Every Minecraft world is unique. That means I need to make a system that randomly generates a world as in Minecraft. And I'm gonna lie, I don't have any idea on how to do that. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT and see if it can help us with that. And it did a really good job here. It provided me with eight steps to make a random world generation system. Okay, the next thing we need is some animals so we can show love. Okay, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> uh, we also need an inventory system, a movement system so we're not paralyzed, and a building system so we can make amazing builds like this. Okay, now that I have a plan, I can finally start making the game. I have limited time, so after starting my Unity project, I quickly started working on the world generation system. And immediately, I encountered a technical challenge. In Minecraft, the world is divided into chunks and there are thousands of blocks in each chunk. And rendering all of those blocks would be a huge burden for the player's computer and would result in low FPS. <laughs> that means we need to optimize the game by temporarily removing the irrelevant blocks and irrelevant faces of relevant blocks. Irrelevant means that the player doesn't see them, therefore they don't need to be rendered and they should be removed. And we need full control over the terrain to achieve that. In order to have full control, I asked ChatGPT to create a flat square with code, and then a cube by duplicating that square six times. I didn't directly ask it to create a cube because we wouldn't have control over the faces of it, and we wouldn't be able to optimize the game. Okay, now we have a cube, but one cube is not enough. We need more. So after creating the cube, I spent some time trying to understand this Perlin noise thing. Wait, what is Perlin noise? Well, it's a boring nerd stuff that you wouldn't care, but it's basically a mathematical algorithm that will help us to generate random worlds. And this is actually what original Minecraft uses. After learning how to use Perlin noise, I asked ChatGPT to code a terrain generation system that uses Perlin noise and the cube generation function it coded earlier. It actually coded a decent script that worked, but the code wasn't optimized. It didn't delete the irrelevant blocks and faces, and I couldn't get ChatGPT to fix the code. So I edited the code myself and optimized it. And now the player will get significantly higher FPS. I mean, I get low FPS with this toaster PC that I have anyways, but whatever. So fixing this problem took me around 2 hours, and I'm gonna be honest with you bro, it was the worst 2 hours of my life. My neck hurts, my back hurts. <laughs> get healthy. <laughs> But it's worth it because now we have an awesome world generation system that works completely fine. Yo, what? Hello, this is your former president Barack Obama. We finally have a world now, but it looks so dull. We need to texture it. Uh, no, not like this. Okay, this is better. After texturing the world, I also added a Minecraft skybox and some water to the world. But this map still looks so empty. I need to add some trees. This one was easy. In around 20 minutes, I made 5 different trees. And they will be randomly put around the map like this. I finally finished the world generation system, but we're still paralyzed. I need to make a movement system. ChatGPT should be able to quickly make this one. We're not paralyzed anymore. It's time to add some animals. I found a website called Sketchfab where you can find a model for basically everything. And when I say everything, I mean it. Oh, I meant that. Since I have limited time, I'm gonna choose four animals to put in our Minecraft. And you know what? F*** vanilla Minecraft animals. I'm gonna put giraffes, crocodiles, dinosaurs, and this thing. I'm gonna be honest with you bro, I don't know what the f*** this is. So after downloading these models, I made some basic animations for them. Then I made a system that will spawn these animals in random places. And this is what the game looks like so far. <laughs> this is so stupid bro. I should change the title from I remade Minecraft to I ruined Minecraft. Time is running out. After adding animals, I added a HUD and an inventory system. So far the game looks okay, but I need to build a house where I can invite my multiple girlfriends. But the game doesn't have a building system. Yet. Let's see if ChatGPT can code that for me.
Okay, after some adjustments, I managed to fix the building system and built the mansion of my dreams. And as the last thing, I added a crafting system. I really hate the crafting system in Minecraft. Memorizing all those crafting patterns is just impossible. So I decided to make a crafting system that is different than the original one. Instead, I made a crafting menu that shows you a list of items that you can craft with the materials you have in your inventory, which I think is way easier to use. You just click on the item to craft it. And yeah, I guess that's it, so let's play and test the game. I'm playing with 20 FPS right now. I'm sorry, my computer is just a piece of crap. Okay, I made an X, but I'm not quite sure what to do with it. There's not a lot of things to do in my Minecraft, really. This is worse than Blockcraft. Yo, you know what? I'm gonna go take that dinosaur down, bro. Watch this. <laughs> it's impossible to kill this dinosaur with regular weapons. I need better ones. So I decided to add a rocket launcher. At this point, I'm reinventing Minecraft. I downloaded the RPG model from Sketchfab and then imported it into my Unity project. Then I asked ChatGPT to write a script for my rocket launcher. Okay, now watch this. Okay, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Watch this, watch this. 